I started Farm Club uh, three years ago. Um, it was a, a space that I shared with my family to live a little bit of the good life, um, growing our own vegetables and uh, rearing our own animals. I then went to work at the local farmers markets, uh, selling produce, setting uh, families up with uh, hens in their back garden. Most of those families then followed me back to the farm to collect what they'd purchased and expressed a real interest in living the good life themselves. And the main point of contention was not having enough space, not having enough time and knowledge. So we started to offer plots of land to those local families so that they too could enjoy the space. From there on we had lots of interest from local nursery schools, community groups, scouts, guides, cubs, and everybody started to share the space together. Just a month ago we opened the Farm Garden Cafe where we serve the produce that we grow and have a, quite an extensive menu of fresh lunches available. From here, um, what we have to offer for families is the, the space as if it were an extension of their back garden. So we have a growing area, families can have their own individual plot and be encouraged to grow their own produce and we give lots of support and help. The Animal Barn was built just three months ago, uh, very proud to say by uh, my partner Steve that houses our small animals, goats, ducks and chickens. And we also have in the centre a beautiful hatchery and we teach the families and the children um, to collect their eggs and go through the whole hatching process for them, which is really exciting. So they can name their egg and watch it hatch over a process of 21 days if it's a chicken, 28 days if it's a duck, which is very exciting for them. And then they get to keep them at the farm. As a member, um, they have free tea, coffee and squash. And I think the real emphasis is on the fact that they pay a £10 subscription for the whole family and it's really good value. So an outdoor space that they share with like-minded families where they don't actually have to come and spend money. So once the families are here, they can enjoy 10% off of the uh, cafe, their free tea and coffee, the garden and the animal barn. In addition to this, we offer lots of events and um, keep the children's interest. And, and there's an educational uh, stance to the, to the whole farm as well. So we really encourage the children to be hands-on, uh, whether it's milking the goats, collecting the eggs, riding the ponies. They get an awful lot of involvement and we have a, a, a very keen team of volunteers. I started coming down here and um, about three years ago. It's great, yeah. I mean, I, I, now the cafe's, I've like, got my sort of role over here with the animals in the barn, just making sure that's clean and tidy, setting eggs, looking after the animals, cleaning them out, and I can't get food for them if I have to. Uh, and general, general maintenance, really, I put posting, gates, fencing, anything, I do anything, fix things, fix the cars, you name it, I do it down here, really. I also come down here in the evenings to help carry out, put all the animals away, make sure they've got water and food for the night, and, come up and open up in the morning. Just learn something new every day, you're outside. It's brilliant. I've been here probably about three, three and a half years now. Um, started off helping weeding with the plots and I've got to learn so much from being here. I've helped out with the hatchery and uh, husbandry for the animals and then more recently helping out in the cafe as well. It's a fantastic place to be. Uh, I have two daughters that come down here, absolutely love it. It's fun for them, but it's education at the same time. The whole family gets so much out of here. Me and Kieran have been here from Milton doing work experience. And it's a pleasure being here, it's a very welcoming environment. My favourite animal has to be Lovely Boy, who's the donkey. 
really great coming here and there's new surprises every day, such as chicks being born. We got to take some out of the fridge this morning and this one just being hatched about an hour ago. About an hour ago. About an hour ago. If it's happy, the tail will be curly. If it's straight, it's unhappy. It's like a dog wagging its tail, but you need to if they're happy or not. I've been working with Carol for several years now and I just love the whole lifestyle. I love having the animals, which we couldn't have at home. Um, we've got plenty of space for growing our own produce, which is really nice to share as well. It's fantastic for the children. We've got so much fun. We're here a lot of the time. They've just got all the contact with the animals. They can pick their own strawberries, all the play areas as well. They've just got the bit of freedom that they wouldn't get in a small back garden. And it's just a really nice community feel. It's space for families from families. And I'm just feel really privileged to be part of it.